Hey guys, Britt Garrison here, and um, if you ever have a hard time finding the right accessory to match your outfit, or if you even look at things and you're like, eh, I can make that, well then today's tutorial is just for you. I'm going to teach you how to make your own fashion accessories. So the first step is to take some fashion caps that I got from Joann's, and they're really cheap, like $2.99 I think. I found a necklace piece that was on sale, and I also bought some adhesive some crystal glass beads and silver wire and um, the first thing that you want to do is make a nice bedding for your ring and then you want to remove the the centerpiece out of the necklace piece and start gluing the stones on there. I started with the big one first and then now I'm going to take the smaller sort of pearl shaped objects and um, after they're on there, probably let them sit for maybe about five to ten minutes and dry and really fix in place. And then I'm going to put the glue around the beads. And I'm going to do this because I'm sort of going for like a crystal sort of stone look. And um, I'm just going to sprinkle these glass beads on top of the glue. That way they sort of stick on there and they look kind of like icy and the ring is just really cool and mystical looking. And it actually is a good idea to hold the ring kind of over the plastic part. That way you don't get beads everywhere like I did. <laughs> so just sprinkle as much as you want on there. And if you have to use more glue, then feel free to add. And for me, I'm just sort of going for like the, the crystal over the stone look. And then the next thing you want to do is tie the wire piece around... I guess the the little the ring part that goes around your finger and then after you have a good knot then you want to start wrapping it around the stone and you don't have to go in any pattern or anything like that but I kind of did like two horizontal and then one vertical before I tightened it and you want to make sure that you do it really tight or as tight as you can and this is going to be your final look so Let's do something a little bit uh, a little bit more childish, I like to say. So there's the ring that's already been bedded with stones. And we're going to use um, these little animals. They're so cute. They're really for um, scrapbooking, but we're going to use them for the rings. And some rhinestones. And this ring is actually for my sister. She loves animals, and she loves purple, and she is 11. So, I mean, if you're older and you do like animals and colorful things then you know hey you can make this for yourself but I'm making it for my sister so the first thing you want to do is peel off the sticky pieces because this is what usually sticks it to a scrapbooking paper and um, after that just lay them out so you can figure out which one one you want to use and I actually I know that I want to use the penguin because it's so cute so rest it on the back and then figure out which one you want to use first but um, if you notice that if you just sit it on there and it doesn't have the right bedding you're gonna have to add some more glue and then add some more of the clear beads to each side and this is a kind of give it some more support so that the two the next two animals that we add to the ring they don't teeter-totter over so add some more crystal beads and after you pack it in there really good get rid of the excess beads by just holding the ring upside down over the uh, the box or whatever you're using put some more glue on top and then you can add your lion and then your rhino and I actually I think this ring is so cute like you're gonna see later we're gonna bedazzle it and make it look all cute and everything so after it's in a good place then you want to add some more glue to the little missing gap and um, I'm gonna put some more beads right there there we go and you can use anything sharper or narrow like a toothpick but I'm just gonna use what I have which is a bobby pin so it's cool you know be resourceful whatever do whatever floats your boat press it in there make sure it's gonna be snug and then There you go. And I actually, I want to add the snake because I feel like the snake gives it a nice pop of green and, you know, kind of brings it all together. So this is the fun part. This is where we're going to make it all sparkly and bedazzle it all up and 
Um, I just poured some glue on the box and then I took my bobby pin and I just dipped it into the glue and I'm going to put it all over whichever animal that I want the rhinestone and where I want it. So you'll be able to see in a second. There you go. And um, yeah, you don't need too much. And I actually switched glues too. I'm using the tacky glue right now because I sort of ran out of the adhesive since I've been making so many rings and necklaces. But it's pretty easy if you just use the pliers to sort of, you know, place them on there. And you can actually do this with um, the bobby pin or a toothpick too, whatever you're using. Just put a little bit of glue on there to make it just, you know, sticky enough, not too sticky. But after you apply wherever you want the beads and stuff, this is your final look. And I hope you guys like this. Let me know what you think.